Hey, babies. What's up, my darling MVPs, and how you all doing? Welcome back to Sale with Mimi Shiosli Mimi, where you get a gist. I see they do waiting. I see they hurt. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If it snows, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long fan? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the hot. Guys, you see this life here. One thing we should just stop to learn doing is judge people, criticize people, talk down on people because we do not really know what people are going through at a point in time. So Nina from the Big Brother season, Tigo Bay, sorry, Double Wahala guys, Nina and Miracle, we all know what's up. Every night was a hit with Nina and Miracle. So Nina took out her time to express what happened to her during her child during her um the childbirth you know her childbirth when she was giving birth to her first child you know and all the things that happened how she actually got close to death but god said no you know let's read this together first off you know she said this was my belly after i woke up from coma two weeks after denzel's bed they tore me up because they thought something was wrong with my intestine and that was the tube i was feeding on guys this was a picture i had to cover it i waited to 2024 to tattoo that mark you know she ha i had to cover it because it was her belly it was looking so guys scary with stitches on her belly this girl said after she gave birth she was having covid as at that time you know then she ran she went into coma she could not do anything she could not see her son for two weeks doctor said she's gonna die but god says no you know and then she said i thought okay somebody now said when she narrated the story about all that happened between giving birth to the son and all the things that happened that later god still you know resurrects her like god still healed her you know somebody said hey nina didn't know you went through so much. Then the name had to be Miracle on a serious note. And then she replied and said, I thought about that name seriously, but people would have probably thought I was obsessed with the name because of my BBN saga without even knowing the story behind it. A lot of people would have thrown to, my dear, why would you have to listen to people and not give your child that name? Because truly, it, that guy that child is a miracle because um this guy said the child came out um prematurely the child came out on six months you know and then she said this is the first time i am celebrating denzel's birthday on his actual birthday april 19th i had always celebrated him july 19th because that's what that was when i was supposed to give birth to him four years later i have finally come to it terms and accepted all what happened on that day ptsd is real guys so she was narrating the story the other time on how everything happened you know but that she's getting used to it right now and thank god the son is four years and looking so sweet and beautiful she shared the story with the video of the child when the baby was giving birth to in six months how the baby was looking so tiny like looking like he's not going to survive and now to how cute the boy is right now so and she is narrating this and she was telling people that when you judge people that like right now they are judging her about her tattoo you know not knowing that she's trying to cover all those car, those scars she has on her belly yes that is what she's trying to do she's covering all those scars she has on her belly because she even said those who are coming for her because of that tattoo that they don't even know what she has gone through you know this was his one year birthday as you can see she said it this is july 19th she has always celebrated the baby july 19th because that's the actual date the child was supposed to be born until the child came out prematurely but right now she has accepted the fact that everything happened for a reason and she's the first the first time she's celebrating her child 19th of april kudos to you baby girl you are a strong girl really you are because guys you will see these people shining on the social space you do not know half of the thing they go through just like you and i go through our own shit they are human beings like us they go through theirs but we find it so easy to drag them we find it so easy to call them name because we feel they are celebrities and they do not have skin 
that whatever we say to them do not get to them which is a big lie so um nina sharing all of this thing actually touched people because that girl is currently receiving drag because of her belly tattoo. so they say this one just traveled outside she's been wayward she's doing this she's doing that her life her business none of your business but she just took time to narrate the story of her child's birth you know while she was celebrating her son her son's four years actually in my language they will say one who can do man one man ne can do it means both the mom and the child you know the deserves to live god already created them that they are not gonna die you know yeah meanwhile guys let's continue bella said if i get married today I don't even have up to three bridesmaids. Do I even have that friend that would cry when I put on my wedding dress? This life is somehow sha. Just thinking out loud. Liam, I said Liam, um, what was the name? Bella, are you, are you telling us something? Is it getting about that time when we are going to put on our dancing shoe with you and Shags? And then Chumsy said, me that will carry the wedding on my head. Tears of joy is a sure thing, baby girl. I am here for you, my love. Will you cry that day? Please cry, yo. That is what Liam... Uh, sorry, why is Liam on my lips? Because baby girl has been all over the place. That's why I had to be calling her name. Okay, that's what Bella actually said. But you see that thing Bella said is looking like I am the one who is saying it. Because I have imagined it. I am somebody who do not have really friends, you know? It is well. How do we balance the 25 groups men and your three birth mate? And she said, I don't know. Guys... Just prepare. The sheller are giving us a sign. The sheller are giving us a sign. Do not say Mimi, she asleep. Mimi did not tell you. Bella, we will cry till they hold us. Give us time, date, and venue. Don't stress yourself too much, Jerry. Just rent at most five bridesmaids for the crying. Your sister and brother will do that because it's not easy to marry your last born baby. And then she said, where do they rent? And truly, I, I learned I learned the rent um, bridesmaid too. If you're somebody that do not really have friends, just like me and Bella, <laughs> and then you can rent bridesmaid you know me and you the same whatsapp group my last friend standing just started giving me attitude because she thinks she has outgrown me well i have two beautiful knees i am praying the two i have stick with stick with me until that day luckily i have sisters and only them are my future bridesmaids because this life of friends is tricky i am the last child will i use my older siblings that have husband and kids you see this matter i might sound funny but truly it's something to worry to be worried about especially when you know that the wedding could be coming anytime soon you know even me i have to go think about this um, um bella thank you for giving me a wake-up call because i have <laughs> I have to go think about my right now because yo, I do not have somebody that will say, Oh, this person, this person. I just have like maybe two persons at most or three, two, just like Bella. Kaima will cry, Muna will cry, Miss Eliana will cry, I will cry. And then this was Bella's reaction. So the fans were actually interacting with her when she made her post. That post is worth it, I'm not gonna lie. It is worth it because when we talk about friends, you know, it's not this one that you would laugh with somebody, good morning, good afternoon, you call that person your friend now. Nah no ways that one is not friend anyways guys let's continue erika kachi said let me appreciate my female baby nigel faith today dear miss ak thank you for being classy for not embarrassing us for not shaming us for giving us constant bragging rights you and whiskey know they disappoint peace of mind one wound person so the uh, the mercy fans they took it upon themselves to thank mercy especially they said mercy you know they put us for potter potter you know they make us do this one you know they make us do that one we are always on our lane People dragging you are just dragging you for dragging's sake meanwhile in the midst of this hype of course we all know what's up you know the problem right here, we all know where the hype is coming from because of this thingy that happened with Fina. I just said, you guys, trust me, one thing I'll always do is I will just you guys. So remember Fina the other time was having ish, you know, and the fans were kind of disappointed and they were like, yo, you wouldn't have done this, you wouldn't have done that. If you do not follow this gist, that means you're sitting on a fat long thing, it is sitting pretty on my channel, you know. So they are still putting blames on her for her reaction as in Julie Olibo said, so because the lady gave you the right advice that your most fans can't give you, means she can't be considered your fans. This show how most of her fans have misled her. She knows most of her fans will support the wrong things she's doing than calling her out. So people are calling on Fina for actually if you watch my video, you'll see that she blocks a lady who was advising her, telling her that she's making her fans go through it so much. You know, so she went to check um, checks on that lady's um, profile and discovered that lady is not a fin nation. She had to block the lady and to, to tell her to F off. So people are coming for her regarding that. They are like, yo, babe, you don't want to hear the truth. Your fans are not going to tell you the truth. You see somebody telling you the truth, you're telling the person to F off. 
Someone needs to sit her down and talk some sense into her because it's not looking nice at all. No one said you should be outspoken, but you shouldn't be outspoken. But sometimes you need to check properly before putting things out. Not everything you run to tweet about be calm while you do your things. Sense no day for her real fans, Jawi. That's why none of them could tell her the truth alone. You know, so people are like her fans will not tell her and said, Fina, truly you are doing, you're going left right now. Let's focus. Meanwhile, while they continue the drags on Fina yet again, while the drama continue, while they pull her out, oh, this girl is this, this girl is that. Actress Etinosa actually has this to say. Let's read this together. I think it is okay to give Fina a break at this point. No one is above mistake, even you, Georgina. Leave that girl. It is not easy navigating life with no father and no mother or senior advisor. Life is not easy for anyone. Nobody came to this life with a manual. You all should give my baby sister a break. Talking like you got your life figured out at her age, even some 40 years old still struggling, now add public figure eyes and pressure. Before you say why she did, why did she go for the show if she, hadn't handle, if she can't handle pressure, the answer is hustle. Cause anyone needs, f everyone needs food on their table. She is rash. She is rash. Okay, did she choose to be born into a rash environment or family? Or more, you guys, eh? God forbid. So actress Etinosa came out and said, "No, you guys should give Fena a break. It is just too much at this point." Because the video of um, Fena having an interview with um Mr. Jude came out where she was kind of emotional saying that she was asked what do you think is the most people have said to you on the social space she said it's calling me Raz because I do not think they should call me Raz I think because my background she said her background contributed to that you know her background should be attributed to her behavior that coming from a place she grew up from that there is no how you will come from that place that you will not be that you will not be rough that she do not call that rad. That telling her to stop being like this is just like telling her, trying to straighten dry fish. You know, dry fish, if you want to straighten it, it will break. That is that, the exact example she gave, you know. So she said the moment people accept her for who she is, the better for them, you know. So guys, of course, we just know that it's just too much on Fina at this point. In as much as she's human being and she has her flaws. But there is one thing we can never change. Baby girl is really going through it right now. And I think she really needs all the love that she can get. Make we know they look at Gragra for front tone and human being she also be a beg. Any which ways, guys, I'm gonna be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later. Thank you so so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies.